Film of the Feast, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into the guy who is into it with Natalie right now. Um, he uh, has some things to say about Natalie and their dealings from 2021. Let's get in. Stay safe. I'm mad safe. Uh, what was I going to say? I'll be real, bro. I didn't even want to do this. Yeah. To be so honest with y'all. But I just feel like, as a person, you got to make the first move for everybody else. Nobody else going to be comfortable if they don't see nobody else is comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like I just had to go tell my story. So that's what I'm going to do. Tell my story. But I'm going to tell everything. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Nah, yeah. So that's another reason why I'm having an issue with this story. What would they get out of robbing him? And he had to, which he said he got robbed though. I was about to say he had to ask for money from a chick to get a, a flight back. <clears throat> but what would they get out of robbing him? Especially Natalie. In four years ago, when did Batty start? Y'all remember? Let me know. I got set up back door to New York. But I don't know why they posted that video. That video had nothing to do with with the fact that they're like, I mean, I didn't tell y'all about Chef D trying to drug niggas in Miami. I got that on call, video call. I called somebody today and I asked him because Chef D was jacking that I'm on some gizzle shit, right? He was jacking I was on some gizzle shit. So if I was on some gizzle shit, why was he in Miami with me and him, Becca? And uh, another nigga, he tried to chat. He tried to make me. He tried to make me. Um, he tried to make me take shrooms. He tried to make me take shrooms in Miami. I almost smack shot him. I think Meek was there too. I'm gonna ask Meek. I I don't know if that's drugging a person. I think that all them niggas just take drugs, and he was trying to see if you wanted to be a part of the party. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I I could be absolutely wrong. I'm just saying. He was probably dead. And then nigga said, what else nigga said? Nigga said, oh, like, why would you talk to her after she did that to you? Bro, the day she did that to me, I went home and I never spoke to that bitch again. Crazy. Like, are you niggas really crazy? You niggas crazy, you niggas stupid, like. And then y'all niggas around talking about a nigga gay. Bro, I got 305,000 for anybody that could show me any type of footage of me being gizzled. And I have nothing against gay people, bro. Do you be yourself, love is love, bro. But don't ever run around throwing it. That's how you know. That's how you know this shit's true. You throwing rumors on my name saying I'm gay. Bro. I'm gay if I fuck you. And I'm fuck you. Uh, you can still be gay. In your mouth. How'd that work? How I fuck you in your mouth? You was going home kissing your husband. That's even worse that you was doing it to her in her mouth because that's what. Never mind. How'd that work? How that make me gay? How I'm gay? Tell me how I'm gay. How the f I'm gay? I was stolen in her mouth. You heard? All of her jalooper. Guess what? She was liking it. You lying about the screenshots and videos too? You you gay and a liar? I'm gay and I'm a liar? All right, show me where I'm gay. Show me where I'm gay. I got you. No. Three years ago, I got drugged. 2021, August, August 14th or 15th. I think it was the 15th. It might have been the 14th. You heard? Is it? Say why it took me three years. I mean, okay, so when I met her, I, I was just a n I was just a get money nigga, bro. Nobody knew me. So I just hopped out and tried to say something. No one was gonna say nothing about it because no one was good, no one gave a f So after finally building up a community that's over 40,000 deep, I decided to speak up. After I see everybody sharing their stories about what they went through, I, I decided to share my story about what I went through. And it just so happened to be your favorite, your favorite uh, TV actress. So Say it again. Say nothing about it because no one was good. No one gave a f So after finally building up a community that's over 40,000 deep, I decided to speak up. After I see everybody sharing their stories about what they went through, I, I decided to share my story about what I went through. Oh, he's he calling Natalie an actress. And it just so happened to be your favorite, your favorite.
favorite uh, TV actress. So I got nothing to do with me. I mean, you could be Bob. I got, yo, 300 or 5,000 on the floor. You could catch me or even texting a nigga. Anything. I got you. Straight wire transfer. You heard? You seem really hurt. Did you Too much, bro. She wanted to f every time she see me, bro. And I wasn't on that. I remember one time she tried to f me in Ocean, in Ocean, Orange County. Orange County, yeah. We was in Orange County at that little drag event. And she had me taking videos of her being with all the. At a drag event? It's a lot going on. A little, all the little, the word, the little drag. Okay, so. Feel so, me? I'm gonna be real with y'all, bro. Like, be like, oh, why was you f with Natalie? Why was you f with Natalie, bro? I could have, bro, I could have had any bitch. I don't know, that bitch was on my body Like I said, the second she came and sat down with me and Chef D She kissed me on my face Like I was a fucking object <laughs> my, my, young, my young ass liked it I'm like, man <laughs> I'm like, man, hey Ain't no bitch ever sat down and kissed me on the cheek <laughs> You know what But that bitch is 30, she been running game She's 40 <laughs> She been running game I don't get the point of this. If you don't get the point of it, stop reading it. Stop watching it. Stop the sharing. fact that she is so 40. <laughs> Put your attention to it. Because I get the point of it. The point of it is to show that no matter who you are or what you do, don't ever be scared to speak up against anybody. Because I don't care about none of these industry names. If I'm in LA right now, who's going to do what? Who's, who's going who's gonna to do what? I'm in LA right now. Who's going to do what? Nothing. Is this okay? If I'm such a random n too, right? They said I was a random. They said I was a somebody boyfriend. Da, da, da. Why I ain't signed an NDA? Why have I never signed an NDA ever? I've never signed. Nobody in this world can say they have my name on an NDA. Why? Why? Because all you, all you, all you celebrities that think, yo, listen, let me tell y'all something, bro. All the celebrities that y'all thought was getting money, they was rich off unemployment and unemployment for it. And that's why they look like they was all getting money. So I don't, I don't disagree with that. A lot of niggas was definitely getting um, that unemployment money. I was not though. In 2020, I was selling detox tea. 2021, <laughs> but now if you look at it, the niggas sold all their children, they sold all their cribs, they moved back to where they supposed to be. This shit was out here looking like the county fair every day. You know what I'm saying? What did you want him to record? What you talking about? What was I supposed to record? You doing a whole lot of looking around? Nah, I'm always just looking up and down. I'm not I'm chilling. Um, what was I gonna say, bro? Uh, like I said, I don't see nobody, you feel me? They thought you wasn't gonna say nothing. So you think you gonna jump me outside of a f hotel? Yo, what of my mother, and I can't wait to go to court for this because I'm going to go to that hotel and I'm going to get the footage of me getting jumped. And y'all going to be like, Y'all going to be like, Dick. And when I catch, oh my God. Oh my God, bro. If I catch that that Devon Bustle okay. who's out here jacket. Okay, chat, if I'm Who? gay, right? If I'm gay, why is there not one video or nothing of me if no. I'm gay? If I'm gay, I don't put nobody on the NDA. I've never put nobody on the NDA. So if anybody got any dirt on me, please uh -huh. drop it today. Right now. And don't you delete the videos of me getting there. robbed that had nothing to do with you. Now you're telling uh -huh. people I'm gay. Where's the proof? Where's, where's, where? Who is Devon? And he's saying he's taking her to court? Is you. I'm going to go to court for this because I'm going to go to that hotel and I'm going to get the footage of me getting jumped. And y'all go. So you think you're going to jump me outside of a f hotel? Yo, what of my mother, and I can't wait to go to court for this because I'm going to go to that hotel and I'm going to get the footage of me getting jumped. And y'all going to be like, Y'all going to be like, mm. And when I catch, oh my God. Oh my God, bro. If I catch that that Devon Bustle nigga who's out here jacking. Okay, chat, if I'm gay, right? If I'm gay, why is there not one video or nothing of me if I'm gay? If I'm gay, I don't put nobody on the NDA. I've never put nobody on the NDA. So if anybody got any dirt on me, please drop it today. Right now. You dropping videos of me getting robbed that had nothing to do with you. Now you telling people I'm gay. Where's the proof? Where's, where's, where's you saying no, I didn't. Drop the video of him getting robbed? Where is that at? Not f this kid. 
We is you saying, oh, we, you try to say our messages was fake. She tried to, she tried to say our messages was fake. She tried to say our messages was fake. What was the name of the hotel? I don't know. It was some big ass, bro. I could figure it out though. Just look for big hotels in Dallas, Texas. I promise y'all find that. Shit. It was right off the highway. That's what I remember. It was a big ass hotel. Some big ass, bro. I mean, going get that the craziest birthday party. Word of my mother. Yeah. I'm 24 now. Y'all was 21 at the time. With a 30 year old. But y'all gonna say, oh, he's of age. So if there's a 30 year old with a 21 year old girl, y'all jacking her? If what? Y'all jacking her. I'm in. Going get that the craziest birthday party. Word of my mother. Nigga. I'm 24 now. Y'all was 21 at the time with a 30 year old. But y'all gonna say, oh, he's of age. So if there's a 30 year old with a 21 year old girl, y'all jacking her? She was 30 and you was 21. What the f wrong with these people? <laughs> First of all, if that was three years ago, she definitely was not 30. And What's even worse is when he find out she's 40, it's going to be way worse for him. But dudes really mess with, like, 40-year-old men mess with 21-year-old women all the time. It is nothing we can do about it. Y'all grown. But my thing is, she wasn't graping you. You was consenting to it. You was giving her up. You was giving up the D. So, eh. Y'all jacking that, huh? Y'all jacking that. Y'all might as well just, y'all might as well just, y'all might as well just, you feel me? No. Go commit a little crime. That's not a crime. They was telling Chris, like, Chris, you 29, don't talk to that 20, I forgot if she was 21 or 20 or something. They're in the same generation. I'm not understanding. So nowadays, 20-year-olds can't talk to 29-year-olds? Like, what are we talking about? <laughs> but, bro, he consented to giving up the D. She didn't, she, he didn't say she graped him, so. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand. 30 with 21? 21, 30? That's a little absurd. And then y'all talking about some oh like like why would you wait so long like why would you tell your story what why, it's why nasty not, not illegal and i damn sure take that one i can't tell my story i'm not allowed to just because it's somebody famous and i'm supposed to just let them live their life no bitch, you know what you did now you gotta live with it that's what it is <laughs> bro nigga said it nigga said it. it's too much work to fake text what i don't like faking a text what the f I look like faking a text. Are you low on funds? That's why you're coming out here now? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm hell low on funds. I'm broke. I don't know all this other shit. You talking about I was scamming? Printing checks? I don't know how to... Bro, I don't even know how to print a resume. Now. How the f*** am I print a check and go... Yeah, he capping on that too because he was talking about he was a getting money. Definitely was scamming. <laughs> Cash a fake check. I've never done that in my life. So I'm trying to figure out how to... F I'm out here printing checks and shit and doing check front. That shit don't make no sense. I, mean, that's, I guess that shit don't make no sense, man. Why you ain't said nothing when Curtis told this story? Who the f is Curtis, bro? I don't be on the internet. Who the f, who the f is Curtis, gang? I don't even know who that is. I'm gonna be so real. Who the f is Curtis? <laughs> All right. Um. He ended up giving a story time. I'm just going to do some quick edits and call it a day um, because I'm not going to lie. It's so all over the place. Y'all, um, I, don't, I, I don't think that he's lying. But once again, is I'm going to forever say allegedly if I don't have no proof. Um, he definitely gave up the meat. Like the nigga was like, hell yeah, I took upstairs nothing in her and everything. Like, so I don't know why he's trying to claim like it was grape or something. But um, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Bye. <laughs>